And what we find in most organizations is simply that drama kills engagement. What's drama? Drama is that there's an official story in every organization. There's a mission statement, the value statement, the CSR program. And then there's the real story. And the real story is who gets paid and rewarded? What are people really doing around here? What's the marketplace say about us? And if there's a gap between the official story and the true story, what you get is organizational drama. And that organizational drama is played out around the water cooler. You know, when, you know when you're having the meeting? Let's take this offline, right? Whenever you have a lot of offline conversations, there's usually a lot of organizational drama going on. Now, organizational drama is a capacity killer. In other words, all organizations have greater capacity than they do performance. When I'm working with a, a group of senior leaders who look like they pay a lot of golf, I say, how many of you can hit the ball? How many of you have ever hit the ball 350 yards or over 300 yards? And they're, oh, and, you know, most, they all lie. Everybody raised their hand and so forth. <laughs> and so I said, okay, if we went out in the practice tee and I gave you 10 swings, how many of you would hit it over 300 yards even once right now if we went out? And about two or three liars raise their hands. <laughs> and what I'm saying is, see, your capacity, if you've ever hit a ball 350 yards, you can do it, right? That's your capacity. But you don't normally do that. And the reason you don't normally do it is to use a technical term is, in golf, you don't know really what the hell you're doing. In other words, you're confused. <laughs> you're not practiced. You're trying to do all this unconsciously as best you can. Now just multiply that a thousand times across your business. And to the extent there's organizational confusion about what you stand for, about what you're trying to accomplish, about how you're going to try to make money, about how you all resolve these issues that I've been talking about. If there's confusion about that, you're going to take whiffs at the ball. So here's the news I tell them. There is no way, this is the big news, there is no way, because I've been doing this 30 years, there is no way you can create a company culture that will satisfy your employees and customers. You cannot do it. And the reason I say that is because I've had the privilege to work inside some of the greatest companies in America, and over time, the external forces of competition, the disruptive changes, the economic conditions are so brutal, are so powerful, they're so extreme that the company will cave in to the financial necessities of the marketplace. 